This is my stock CF Moda U4 600 clutch stock spring, stock helix. This isn't I'm just laying there, it's starting to put together. But I just wanted to, uh, there was all this talk about, you know, springs, rubbing, binding, clearances, problems, I don't know. Anyway, I was noticing that, you know, even with the stock setup, so you have like tons of clearance on this one and touching on this one and close maybe touching on that, it's hard to say. But um, considering that there's four holes up here, right, that the spring can go in and only three tabs to a helix, it would stand to reason that one of them is going to put whatever part of the spring happens to bulge out closer to here. And maybe if you had moved it to that one, then maybe the bulge would be right here and wouldn't actually be touching anything. I think the springs itself, as they compress, kick a little sideways. I mean, you try it with a spring yourself and you squeeze them down and they squeeze and want to bulge out to the side. I think that's what's really happening here. I don't know if it causes any kind of binding or not. I mean, it's really right from the factory. It shouldn't do that. You think once they see it, they're like, hey, we should design this a little different and make it so that this doesn't rub. But I'm going to pull this apart and see what we can do. I'm going to put my uh, RNG kit back in because the stock back shift sucks. And the uh, RNG kit that I had, it's, it's like a whole different machine. So rubbing or no rubbing or whatever you say i don't know the rng kit's going back in because this stock stuff sucks okay so to add on so i actually should pull this apart this is my factory spring there wouldn't be 200 kilometers or maybe like that would be 120 miles and you can see that the stock spring is scuffed almost every run and stock helix as we were saying it's only going to rub one side and you can see it like it's it's grooved in so right from the factory this is what they do so i just think it's just the way it's going to be hello hello what do you think sky so going back together and for science i'm going to put the factory spring in b i can't see it but anyway it's in b1 i'm putting it in b1 so stock but with the uh, stingray mods big tire helix even though i don't have really big tires i just have 27s but you know i've got heavy doors i'm always carrying a load and you know, I eat too many hot dogs, so I'm big myself. So anyway, we're, that's what we're going with. And uh, I'm going to put in, I'll let you know how it goes. I've got some other videos that will show the RPM before with the RNG spring on uh, C1. So that was actually clocked a bit because I believe that the RNG spring is a little lighter than this spring, so clocking it more. I'm starting to learn this stuff, so I'm getting it. Anyway, we'll continue, and when I get back together, or actually when I get this together, I'm gonna do the primary because I had an experimental thing in there. Okay, so I've got the secondary back together with the stock spring and the Stingray Mods. Big tire helix, helix clock to B1, and I just want to at the weights just to clarify because i knew that i spoke to guys at msc and they said they sent me 20 gram and it, that is what is shown on the package in the box that came with the primary kit and uh, uh two springs so one of the shiny springs is the first one and this is the updated spring they sent me that's a stock spring hanging here so Anyway, um, this is the uh, RNG spring. So anyway, this is the weight. So these are my stock weights. And these are what was sent to me. 
they have a number on them, 81. They say 20 gram, they measure 22 on the scale. I'm supposed to have 18 in my rig, and you know, you can see that they're definitely different, but I measured these ones, and they are 20 grams on the scale. RNGs are supposed to be 12 gram, and they do say 12 on them, and they measure 12. So, you know, my scale's not off 12 and 12, just 22 is what I received. So that's why I wasn't getting the RPM that I should have got out of the MSC kit. I just believe that somehow there's a mix-up, and it may not even be their fault, because obviously they sent me what the bag says 20, but 22 is what's there. So that might have mixed up right at uh, CV Tech themselves. So that's... Girls, that, that was the problem, and it probably wasn't MSC's fault. But I'm going to go with a uh, combination of three of my weights, 312s, or sorry, 320s, 312s, and that will give me kind of an, an average on my weights, right, of 16 gram, because it'd be 32, half 32. So it'd be like running 16 gram weights because I found that 12s rubbed a little high for what I wanted, and probably because I chose the big tire, and like I said, I don't have giant tires. I have those 27s, and I have these 27s. So, you know, anyway, I'm going to do that and just see, because I have this set up already in, or had it already in, with the RNG secondary spring and the Stingray Mods Helix, and I have some results with that, so I'm gonna see how it reacts with the stock spring and the same weights. It sucks taking it apart, but really, if you change more than one thing at a time, how do you know what you did? So, anyway, I'm gonna put it together, pop those springs in, pop those weights in. Okay, it just uh, came to my mind, just in case somebody wasn't understanding what I, what I did here is, you know, one light, one heavy, one light, one heavy, so it, it balanced itself out because you've got three light weights at 120 degrees off and three heavy weights at 120. So when they're all, you know, back in here the way they should be, right, they'll work. Everything will go, you know, when you put your, put your cover back on. Well, I got to put my little slide pieces in, but anyway, put it back on. That's how you, you know, mix your weights. You, you can't just change one of them. You, you'd have to do three of each and mix and match to, so that it still balances. Just thought okay, I'd so we're out testing. It's a little wet and muddy and rainy and messy and whatever. Um, so I put it all back together with the RNG stuff minus three of his weights. So basically I've got the Stingray Mods, Big Tire Helix. I've got RNG Primary Spring, 312 gram primary of my stock 20s which equal up to a 16 gram so i'm running 16 gram primaries rng primary spring stingray mods and i run a stock secondary spring clock to b1 and i just splash through a lot of water so i got a bunch of steam coming off here so what i'm gonna do is uh, do a little test to compare before the uh, i already know just from getting back here that the uh, Stock secondary in B1 doesn't give as good a back shift as the RNG in C1. I know I'm not comparing apples to apples, but whatever, I just I know that because the other one would jump up in RPM like when you stomped your car down and it kicked into over or into you know fast gear type thing and rev right up and then went. That's what I was noticing before. But anyway, I'm back to this beautifully smooth clutch. Putting along here. I'm actually driving along at like 23, so it's engaging at just over 2,000 RPM, like just liquid smooth, so that's great, I love that.
higher RPM to get it moving. It's still very smooth. Nice engagement. You basically cruise along like just it makes it feel like you have better use of your high range, and I really like that because I hate revving along and low, just cutting along the road. So remember, this is kilometers per hour, not miles. So I'm just going to do a stop it. It's muddy and wet, and there's puddles, so I'm not going to get a you know good top speed thing. But you get an idea of how it goes through its rev range. There we go. Yeah. 